Oh, I need to organise my setup a bit more again. Uh, right, unreleased games. Let's see what's on my list. I've got a bunch of really interesting things on here. Um, let's see. What did everyone think of... Uh, I forgot what it's called now. Lost Treasures of Lima. Maybe it gets better once you've got through the house and collected those 13 different things. So, let's see which ones of these I've got in here. I should have put them in a different folder. Um... Okay, Mithri's one of the games that I was looking at. I'm guessing this one. So this was a unreleased Game Boy Color RPG. If it actually works. All right, there were a few other files. Let's try some of the other ones. Okay, that didn't work. And I've got the most awkward setup with the GameCube being on the complete other side of the room here. Because the analog pocket is just refusing to read any of these cartridges. And the batteries run dry as well. Oh my god. Why is everything failing on me? Let's try this instead. Okay, that's not working. Let's try something else. It won't even reset. It won't even reset. What is going on today? Oh my god. Let's try a different game. Let's try this one called Gekido or Gekido. Come on, please work. Fingers crossed. Yes, we got something. All right. This one is a cancelled side scrolling beat em up. Uh, which actually got a release on the PlayStation 1. I believe. Seems like there's no music, but it does have some sprites already. And for some reason B is except. <laughs> we got a nice full screen picture there and a little map. Ready? So we can jump. We can fall through the floor. And um, I don't have any way of resetting. So that was a fun game. Let's... <laughs> Let's try that again and not fall through the floor, shall we? I don't know why the batteries run dry. I only just put a new one in this. Right, let's try again. And don't jump through the floor. Don't go left. Okay, that's a bit better. Kind of double dragon dragon vibes. Don't know if I can do anything about that. Reminds me a little bit of Karate Joe as well, that other unlicensed Game Boy game. Can I get that? All right, we've got some money. I don't know whether there'll be a shop that actually works at, at this stage of development or not. I don't know how far along this game was in development either. So yeah, it's very, very rudimentary at this stage, but I can see the potential. I think it was released on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I fell down a pit. So I wonder how different that is. I do actually have a Build of Infinity on here as well, which is the Game Boy Color RPG that Incubate put up on Kickstarter and they're trying to finish the development of. So we can check that out as well for a bit. 
I've always been curious to see uh, what it was like. Oh my god, this is relentless. You can just hold the A button down and constantly jump. Does that barrel blow up or anything? Even the start button doesn't do anything at this point. Maybe it is actually impossible to get any further because the hitbox just seems to be massive compared to all the enemies. Okay, there's a radio, whatever that does. And some money. Oh my god, these pits! Game over. Let's see what options we got. There are no options! It just goes back to the character select screen. Let's try a different character. The animation on the sprites seems nice. Ah, oh, maybe he's a bit easier to play as. He seems to have a bit of a bigger reach. I feel like if this was polished up a bit, this could have been a, a pretty good game for the system at the time. Oh, he even has a combo. Nice. Oh, well, he did. You can't do it again, apparently. Ha, <laughs> look at them, they're too scared to go over the pit too. Oh, this one's a bit scarier. Uh, okay. Oh no! Oh, I was doing so well. Let's see if we can finish level one. Can we just jump past everyone? I think it's going to stop me here, isn't it? Got to fight the dog. Yeah, you can't skip forward. There's his combo. I don't know how I did it. And again. Just get enough hits in one go, I suppose. It's actually pretty fun. Like, the pits would be better if they were a little smaller. Oh, no. Same place. Come on, we can do it. I'd like to see a, a homebrew developer try and take on the beta up genre. That'd be cool. Oh my god, I can't get past that. It shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, let's try this character. I thought she might have a double jump or something. She's definitely faster. Cool, and she has a nice kick combo thing too. So scared of this jump. Ah, God damn it. Literally can't get past that. Right, let's check out another game then. Hopefully you can just press that. There we go, back to the menu. If it wants to load. Why is everything against me today? I would try playing the NES game, but you'll just be there for like an hour waiting for me to actually get it to turn on. 
I'm gonna do a full restart, I guess. <clears throat> And you don't even get to watch the intro because the HDMI thing is so slow. Alright, there we go. Unreleased games. Let's try... Which other ones did I have on my list? Yeah, I don't know what these are. These were part of the Nintendo leak a while back. And a bunch of different Pokemon ones. And some prototypes I've never looked at as well. Oh yeah, Towers 2. Let's check that one out. This was a first-person dungeon crawler. And the first one came out on the Game Boy Color. And I remember this one being advertised, actually. And I kind of wanted it back in the day, so I was kind of sad when I realised it never actually got a release. And check out this FMV intro as well. This is really cool for a Game Boy Color. That would be impressive to see on the original system. Um, so you get to choose from a bunch of different characters. And obviously they have different stats. But you can actually roll as well, if I remember right. Or maybe not. And... I don't really know what the goal is or anything. Let's try fighting this guy. Am I going to be able to kill him with my bare fists? Yes. I don't know what is shaking so much. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe someone was attacking me from behind. Let's try again. That was a big fail. Can we go through that door? The door is locked. Hey. Oh, wow. They can attack you even if you're not looking. Great. Why is my aim so bad? Come on. Where's my health? I guess it's that red bar there. Oh, we got something. How do I pick it up? Do I have to actually point at it? Okay. Short sword. Cool. What do I do with it? What? Don't put it back. How do I keep it? Do I have to put it up here? Okay, cool. You actually have to... That's so weird. You actually have to pick it up. And put it into the inventory. And now we can move again. What else can we do? I don't know why you can move the cursor all the way around the screen. If there's nothing to do there. This is a list of spells, apparently. Okay, found the save system. There's just character stats. Oh, nice, we got map too. This is pretty full featured for a Game Boy Color Western style RPG game. I can hear something trying to attack me as well. There's something on the floor. It's so awkward though. You have to really slowly move around and then press select to bring up the cursor and then choose what's on the screen and then move the cursor to the right place and then move back again. And how do I equip things? Do I put it here? Okay, do I have the sword now? Nope, apparently I'm still just using my fist. Oh, now I've got the sword, cool. 
Okay, stab. Oh my god, voice as well? Voice samples? Oh. Why is the sword no stronger than my fist? Why? This isn't fair. Hit for five. Yay. Now we can pick the key up. Can we use the key on that door? It's so awkward to play, but I get... It doesn't fit. I get what they were trying to do. Ah, are these things... Armour? No. Are these armour? Leather pants. Can put them there. And leather boots. Oh, do I put them on the pants icon? Cool. Now the bag's empty. Oh, we can use the bag to get some more slots. Nice. But that key didn't work in that door. Let's see what's around here. There's something. There's two things. Looks like cheese. <laughs> okay, a scroll. And... It is cheese. That was right. Now... What can I do with the cheese? Can I eat it? I'm full, apparently. What about this scroll? Dinner will be cancelled tonight. What? Is that what the scroll said? I don't know what to do with it. Just leave it there, I guess. There's some more cheese. Have some more cheese for later. Now the dinner's cancelled. Oh, hey, we found a door. Nice. As far as I know, this game did come out on the Atari Jaguar, of all places. Right, there wasn't anything in there at all. It's pretty cool. I mean, obviously it's extremely awkward, but it's cool to see this kind of game. Throne room. Okay. Where's that? Down here? I can't tell where I'm looking half the time. Wow, nice throne room. Looks the same as everywhere else. It'd be nice if the map was on this screen, rather than having to press select and then slowly come across here. What? Is that me falling asleep? Okay, we can't go through there. You can't scroll on this map either. Something's making a weird noise too. Stairs, don't I? Oh, hello. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that's enough of that game. A bit more better, interestingly. Let's check out. Well, nothing, because the controller's stopped working. What is going on today? Give that another reset. I think everyone left after I stopped playing the last game anyway, so I might wrap it up in a minute and actually work on a video instead. But there are some other things I wanted to check out. Pokemon Picross which was a fully completed Pokemon version of the Nintendo Picross series, but for whatever reason it never got a release. And this one's translated into English as well, which is just crazy. So we have Tutorial, Easy, and then we have the Pokemon ones too. 
had a really nice looking map there as well. Oh, become a Pokemon Master. Let's give it all we've got. Pikachu. We can go across and choose what puzzle you want to do. There, we don't need hints. Let's go. Oh, okay, you can colour that in too. Mario Pokeross is one of your favourite Game Boy games. Me too. I feel like if this came out, then Pokemon Pokeross would definitely have been one of my favourites as well. DS Picross game, is that? I love Picross on the DS. It, it fits the touchscreen so well. I think this is going to be a Diglett. Is it going to make it colour? Yay, cool. See, oh, this is so good. Why why did Nintendo not release this? It doesn't make any sense. This would have done maybe even better than Mario Picross, honestly. It could be um, Haunter. Two, three, four, five, three. So that's two. That pops that one off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, and five. There we go. Oh, ghastly that one is. Okay. Let's do a few more. Should we see if we can get to any bigger ones? Or do we have to go through these first? This one seems quite easy. Oh, well that, that was a mistake, but seems to be right anyway. Just spend the entire stream just playing this. Dun, 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 dun. Even the music's good. I can't believe they didn't release this game. It's so weird. Does anyone know why they didn't? What's that? Omanite? Um, Omastar? Um, um, can't remember what it's called. Omanite! Um, yeah, you got it. Are these all the same size? Yeah. Can we go to more difficult levels? Just easy. Should we see if these ones are Pokemon themed as well? Oh, these are still 10 by 10. What makes these easy then? Let's see how fast we can do it. Ready? 
speedrun. Oh wow, that was fast. It's a Pokedex. Cool. <clears throat> 27 seconds. Should we see if we can beat that? See if we can beat 27 seconds. No hints. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Let's start at the bottom. Kind of messed up by not looking at the right place. Oh, maybe that can go there. No, actually, no. That's the same as that one. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's the whole row. Okay. Hey, not too far off. It is a map. Town map. 57 seconds. Oh dear. Let's go back to the normal ones. Oh, let's see what the Pokedex is. Let's see what that is. I'm definitely going to play more of this off stream. Uh, okay, do we not have any Pokemon? I'd actually be tempted to get a fan made cartridge of this. Oh, we do have one. Oh, we have the ones we've unlocked, okay. Oh, you don't get any information though, you just get a picture of them. Still cool though. Okay, and you can get multiple save files, nice. It's so full featured, it's literally a full game. So weird. Should we do one more? Like, this deserves to be a spin-off game just as much as something like the Panel Dupont spin-off or anything else. It does look better. It's in colour for one thing. That was pretty fast. Is that Mock or Grimer? I can't remember. It is Muck. Let's finish off the row, then we can check out Infinity, which is the last game that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. They have to be connected. That one does. And that one does. And that one does. That's the three. That has to be something to do with the two there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, 
Is that eight if you fill in them two as well? Yeah. So that has to be the one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that goes all the way across. Just fill in that section there. That's that two. There's two there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Is that Kabuto or Kabutops? I can never remember which one's which. It is Kabuto. There we go. First row complete. Now let's check out the next game. Give it a full restart just so the controller can reconnect. It's being a little weird. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed that um, Mithri one didn't work. I'll try out the GBA ROM instead. Maybe that will. So, let's check out Infinity Preview. I've been looking forward to checking this out for a while. Still no news on a release date for the finished one. Nice parallax on that intro. That was nice. Oh, I wonder whether... If I change that. Will that fix the lines on the characters? Yeah, it did. Cool. Nice font and text box. Very Final Fantasy esque. Centuries later. They even tried slanted font, which always looks a bit weird. And apparently they've made a load of graphical improvements as well to their newly updated version of the game. Can I get out of bed? Typical RPG starting scenario. As always, I just realised I'm really far away on the camera. There we go. That's better. How's everyone else doing tonight? What's everyone been playing since I've been away from Twitch for a while? Oh, this is a nice little bit as well. Time moves forward, taking us like leaves in the wind. We meet, we come together, and then fall to the earth. Very poetic. I like it. I wonder whether they had to put this purple on the background to make it more legible on the Game Boy. Longing for the spring, longing for life, but all things end. No one bothers me anymore. Who could this be? Started playing Jade Empire. That's uh, an RPG on the original Xbox, right? Was it on PC as well? I've heard it's really good. I'm not a sir, I'm just playing Old Common. Oh, 
Why is he so depressed? Failure to obey a summons is treason, Sir Connor. menu. Feels weird to play a Game Boy RPG that's not done in RPG. I was going to say RPG Maker in Game Boy Studio. Welcome to my item shop. Oh wow, that is just Final Fantasy, that noise. That is 100% Final Fantasy. Oh my god, I haven't got any money. Trying to beat the final boss in Zero Mission. You can do it. Zero Mission's an awesome game. I love it. I remember the boss in Fusion being harder than the one in Zero Mission. But what difficulty are you playing it on? Where am I supposed to be going? There was like... There was a soldier at the door telling me to come with him, and then he just disappeared. Woman. I wonder how much of this is actually playable, anyway. Um, shall I try the house? They didn't bother building the path all the way to the house. Oh, this is my house. Oh, there was something in there. Hey, we got some money. I better go see the king. Not yet. We're going to go to the shop. We're rich now. Not that shop. Not that shop. Where is it? Where's the one with the sword in the front? There it is. This shop. Remember to equip what you buy. Okay. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Um, I wonder what that is. I haven't got enough. Oh my god, it just buys it instantly? You don't get to check the stats or anything? Uh, I hope that's something they fix. Huh? Oh. Do I already have it? Is that why? Uh, I bought something I've already got. Great. The UI isn't too good. Wow, I can only sell it for 15. I don't even know what that is, but I'll sell it anyway. I think I already have a tunic as well. Wow, what a waste of money. Great. Terrible. see the king. Yeah, let's save. Oh, that's a nice little transition to, to those windows popping up. I'm impressed with the polish on this already, even though this is uh, an early build. Oh, wow! That's pretty unique, having a sort of side-on view of the world map. Oh, nice. Get like a proper Final Fantasy style battle music going too. I think that was magic that I selected. This is cool. Do I not have any normal attacks? Okay, apparently all I can do is fire magic. this music. Seems like there's a little bit of movement options as well in the fight itself. That's kind of unusual. Let's try and take this goblin guy out. I 
you whether I'll run out of MP soon. Oh no. Uh, I haven't got any other option. Whoa, he just flew off. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Let's see what other options we've got here. Battle mode. Wait or action. Cool. Oh wow, you can even change the colour of the windows. Window colour bottom. Oh wow. They put so much thought into this. This is crazy. That's wild. This must have been a massive amount of effort for something that never got released. I don't know what to do now though, I've run out of magic. from. Yeah, I think so. Right, I might end it there because I've got some videos that I want to work on as well and some other stuff that I want to do too. So thank you everyone that joined me today. It was just a short ease of myself back into doing streams again and hopefully, like I said, at some point we can check out Panzer Dragoon Saga as well. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a bit sad that it didn't go quite according to plan and I couldn't use the analog pocket and play like I was hoping to. So hopefully I'll try and get everything up and running properly next time. And it also looks like it didn't stream on YouTube either, for some reason. It just says the stream was deleted or ended, so I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to try and fix that as well. I also can't see any of the notifications on OBS. So sorry for everyone who tried to follow me who couldn't. And starting again next week I'll be picking streams or maybe not next week because I'm going away in the, maybe two or three weeks time I'll be doing streams more regularly again and at some point as well I'm also looking to do a charity stream as well although I am a bit nervous about doing that but we'll see we'll see how that goes anyway thank you everyone and I'll try and raid someone if I can if I can figure out how Maybe Sarah's still streaming. Um, you can go and watch her doing some artwork. But I really need to sort my setup out. It's uh, not really usable as it is now. And I want to try and capture some nicer footage from some of these games. So, uh, let me try this. I think we're lined up to go, so say hi to Risu, and say congratulations as well, because I proposed to her on the weekend, so that'll be a nice surprise if everyone goes over there, and be nice to her, she's got a little bit of a cold at the minute, so um, enjoy, and I'm going to go and work on some videos, so see you next week. Let's line it up, hopefully, hopefully everything goes across okay. And as Enris, I see you there. Sorry you caught me just as, as I was about to leave. Um, is that everyone? All right. I think that's everyone. All right. Bye, guys. See you again soon.